Sure. Andrew Davis, I love oh. him so much. You know what? He's it's so really sweet. difficult to keep a kid away from Minecraft right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I bet. It's like mission impossible. <laughs> no kidding. But the KitchenAid stand mixer has really brought us closer together. We've developed a really strong bond in the yeah. kitchen. Him and his little friends absolutely yeah. love to gather around this machine, and they fight over who gets to work it. I bet. Yeah, I it's bet. amazing. Absolutely. It's well, let's jump back to the demonstration um, where where we left off. I just wanted to show you that uh, the tangerine is now gone. Wow. And then, Steve, which will be the next color to go after that? Will it be the copper or my red or blue? Do we know? Okay, the red, we started with 1,600. They're the final 200. Last 200 on that red. On this Ocean Drive blue, which, believe it or not, I love red, but this blue is kind of yeah. near and dear to my heart. Uh, Steve, do you know what is left in the Ocean Drive blue, out of curiosity? Black has, is the best availability, so we'll, we'll check on that. So where are we going to show off now, Monty? I want to show you how easily you can go savory with the KitchenAid stand mixer. And I, I don't know how many parties you get invited to where people are like, just bring a side. <laughs> right? You know, just go, go gadget, make a side happen. Yeah, exactly. While you have all this other stuff to of do. Of course. It's no big deal. Please. Just bring a side. Exactly. You know, well, you can bring a side with the KitchenAid stand mixer because it's easy to do this. Um, I'm going to show you how to make the most incredible sweet potato casserole oh, nice. that you can freeze right. and then just pop in the oven when you've got to go somewhere. Oh, by the way, uh, Monty, the slicer shredder is gone. Wow. But, um, we do still have the spiralizer. The spiralizer is still available. So this is like a little sweet potato side. Yeah, and so I keep canned sweet potato in my pantry. You know, when it's go time, okay. you can throw a bunch of canned sweet potatoes into your mixer and just lock it in, put it on two, and then add a little fat. I love using real butter. You can use cream. That fat's oh, gonna wow. help and boy, that's elevate a stick of flavor. It is, it's a stick of butter almost. Right. A little brown sugar, and what that does is it kind of uh, elevates the flavors of the sweet potato and it helps mask any kind of tinniness that you would get okay. can from you, using a can. Can you debunk for me? Because I've heard yes. two different schools of thought. Okay. Uh, on cookies, do I want to use softened butter, hard butter? Is there a difference? No, no, no. It, well, it depends on the cookie, but okay. honestly, Everything in a kitchen when you're baking is best served cold, oh. much like revenge. Okay, so when I you're will remember with that pies, for so many reasons with cookies, <laughs> you, it is. you're gonna want to keep that cold butter. Here's what I do. Yeah. Actually, with that shredder attachment, I keep my sticks of butter in the freezer. I freeze them solid and then I shred them to put in my pie dough. Oh, that's it gives a me good a croissant like tip. Pie dough. Oh, no, that's a favorite, good tip. It's my favorite tip. High five me that on that. That one's free. Okay. It's amazing. All right, now. Stop whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a guacamole mm -hmm. moment. I this guacamole, the whole all the crew has been eating it up as soon as it's hilarious. It's so easy to do. It's four avocados. That's it. And you can do more. You could do 12, 16 avocados in this. Right. It's five quarts. You lock it in, you put this paddle attachment on, and you're just gonna do it on stir. Add some chopped red onion. Add a little bit of jalapeno if you want heat. If you don't want heat, that's fine. Oh, Keep sure. it out. It's your life. It's your world. Do right. what you want. But don't forget to add the lime juice. The lime juice is going to give it some zing, but yeah. it's also going to keep the avocados from oxidizing. And that's what happens when they turn that grayish color yes. when they've yeah, been left yeah. out in the air too long. So again, you can see that this goes from two to four to six to eight to ten in no time. Whoa. Anywhere and look, <gasps> you have the most amazing avocado, and I want to show you what I do with this flex okay, edge that drives way, Monty, danger can you, crazy. Can, can you do that again? Uh, just so this is what Marianne was talking about. Mm -hmm. All of your attachments, whether you're using the hub or not, it's, yeah, you just slide it on and it locks. There's right? a little keyhole here, yeah, and there's the key right here, and you just match those up. Yep. So just and match then, it, turn and it, and it's lock locked it. in. That's nice. it. It's ready to go. Oh, that's so it's cool. It's so easy. You could do. You don't even have to look. No. So this is the flex edge beater, and you can use it to actually clean the bowl. Oh, that's smart. You can clean the bowl with it. And when I make cakes and I use it, Danger is really, really upset with me. He's like, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. no more licking He's the like, bowl. What are you doing? Right. No more licking the bowl. Seriously, <laughs> leave some for me. But um, I have to say, and don't let Marianne in California be the only one. If share your KitchenAid story, we'd love to say hi to you. If you've had mixer envy, of course, stop by tonight. We're making dreams come true. I mean, we really are. Yeah. But the big thing is the the KitchenAid with a hundred year legacy, celebrating their anniversary. They did us just for us and our sister partner network QVC.
$45 last live show. If there are any remaining, I say uh, if kind of tongue in cheek, all the fashion colors to my knowledge will be gone after this hour. Black is the best availability. Yes, we'll make what's available digitally, but remember we're doing a hundred dollar price adjustment. It's on that flex pay. It has our extended holiday return policy. So you can bake, you can do sweets, you can do savories, you can do breads, you can, you know, cook to your heart's content. And if you still decide that it's not your cup of tea, which we know will not happen. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I mean, that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's so funny, Monty, and you must hear this because obviously working in professional kitchens and professionally trained and a hard working mom, number one, if you don't have the right tool, I think there are a lot of people watching who are saying, because I thought this, because I've been using, you know, hand mixers and you do this and that. You think, oh, well, I just can't bake. No, it's, you know what, that's what I love about my experience on MasterChef. It really taught me that the difference between a home cook and a professional cook is just the tools the that tools. they use. The quality You're of right. the tools that they use. You can't get these results with, you know, a little rinky-dink hand beater. You, can't. you just can't. You can't. Like right now, we are gonna work with shredded carrots. That's gonna make a really heavy batter. You need power to right. cut through that. Yeah, you do. 325 watts of power with the KitchenAid Artisan Stand Mixer. And I'm gonna show you how to make a carrot cake in no time from scratch. Shredded carrots that we shredded with our shredder attachment. Right. We have a little bit of flour. My trick to a nice moist carrot cake, you don't want dry carrot no, cake. Oh, no, I call uh -huh. those chokers. You don't want yes, those. That's the worst. True. Right. You add a little brown sugar and a little white sugar. Oh. So the brown sugar is what's gonna add moisture to your oh, batter. That's a, that's a good tip. Because it has molasses. Oh, and then yes. you also wanna make sure that you create texture because there's nothing worse than just eating a gummy cake. You want to have something to crunch on. So what do you so got in there? We've got pecans. We've got dates. Right. Of course, you're going to have eggs to bind everything together. Vanilla to give it some flavor. Sure. Some nutmeg. Some cinnamon. Oh, and then my so secret good. ingredient. This is the oil. Sure. My secret ingredient is this pineapple. Crushed oh. pineapple yes. has enzymes that help tenderize your cake. Nice. Yes. So crushed pineapple. Uh, Steve, we're showing off that copper right now. Uh, how are we doing in terms of availability on the copper? Pearl, just out of curiosity. Oh, wow. So half the quantity gone. 600. Wow. We started with final 300 on that copper pearl. You know, the other thing about this is, oh, and you know what, Chris, can we show this real quickly? There's, there's pictures for all of us. So you never have to guess, okay, where is it locked? Can you guys see that? I can even cheat one if we need to. Unlocked yep. and locked. So it's a little picture. And then on the other side, what I love is, okay, we're going to have to, uh, uh, cheated a little bit is thank you Monty see see once they're down they're, they're down. down but you never have to guess it's they're all numbered in terms of the power selection or the or the, the power cheese uh, choices do you ever watch the voice when they they finish up with their teams and they're like my team is full yes right <laughs> this bowl is full Look at all of the batter in this bowl, and this is gonna cut through it like a breeze, okay? We're gonna do it on stir. We're gonna make sure it's locked in. And we're gonna have carrot cake batter in under a minute. Do you hear it? Oh, wow. oh wow, it's not struggling at all. Not at all. And holy cow, that was a, that's a, that, that like you Done. said, that was a full bowl. I know, and look, oh, this man. is one of my favorite features is these are coated in a nylon coating, so none of the ingredients stick. Everything goes right back into your recipe, and you don't have to worry about scrubbing, which I hate. Oh, I, I hate know, scrubbing. right? It's the worst. This also goes right into your dishwasher. Oh, true. It's a done deal. It, it is a done deal. Hey, Monty, can you also show how to put the bowl on? Because the bowl itself also lies box into position so Absolutely. you don't have to worry about it being all this rickety. This is really amazing. Um, the bowl has this incredible, and I don't know if you can see this. Right. Oh, that's perfect. Thank um, you. This grip on this bowl is perfect. Sometimes they that. have just that raw edge. And yeah, I was going to say, yeah. You know, you with your hands. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I love that it's curved there, and then you just lock it. You twist yep, it, see that? and it's done. Yep, just and then locks you can right in. Twist it right back on, and yep. it's in. Well, and I would imagine because you don't have, you, you've got stainless, you've got metal, there's not a bunch of gears and gizmos and whizmos no. to, to burn out. No. I, I think we've all had that experience when you're not using a KitchenAid in the kitchen where you smell kind of those gears burning. I mean, we've all experienced that where you've burned out a motor or you know there's something that's just not right. Everything is right about the KitchenAid. Oh man, the person that designed this, genius. 
for sure. Genius. I mean, for they sure. built it to last, and they it's gone virtually unchanged it in a hundred years. It, that's crazy. Hey, Steve, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show them everything they get again real quickly. But uh, at this point, the the cop. Remember, the orange is gone. The copper, half the quantity are gone. We started with 600. We have the final 300. What are we going to show off now, Monty? I want to show off this flax edge beater again, and I want to talk about my favorite thing in the whole world, which is cream cheese frosting. Ooh. Okay, Danger and I live off of this stuff, and you can make so much of it, but it's really hard to do by hand, especially if you're taking the cream cheese out of the fridge. Sure. You got to let it soften. It takes forever. Absolutely. You got to let your butter soften. Not with this KitchenAid artisan stand mixer. It's got so much power. You can take it right from the fridge, lock it in, mix it up, and yep. you've got amazing cream cheese frosting for your carrot cake, your pancakes. We put it on everything. We put it on toast. We're kind of gross. <laughs> but all it takes is a little vanilla, some confectioner sugar, yeah. butter, cream cheese, and we're just going to go to town with this. You're going to see that it's literally taking this and hugging the bowl. Oh, this yes. flex edge incorporates all of the ingredients. Nice. And it's done. We're ready to roll. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that oh took my you gosh. seconds. It took seconds, and I just... It took you seconds. Look, it just goes... It's okay, perfect. Okay, there is I know, nothing I'm like... like All right, I have to. <laughs> you know I have to. It's so good. Oh, man. And so easy. You should never buy frosting. Oh, man. There's no point in it. I, I mean, know. you can make this in no time. It took us less than a minute. Okay, I, I, ha I hate to say, but frosting could be one of my food groups. <laughs> It really good. We're sisters. No, I'm telling you, We're it could sisters. be. I mean, seriously, you I have no idea. I mean, oh, okay. Let's show you what we are including in. Hey, don't let Marianne in uh, California be the only one. Of course, we would love to meet and greet you. I, I was so looking forward to the show. You have no idea. My mom has had her KitchenAid for well over a decade, and you're going to be the same way. Of course, we know the KitchenAid is built to last, but we do also have our Protection Plus plan available, so check with your service representatives for details. Details. So I'm showing off my Empire Red. You know I love red. I'm actually in love with that Ocean Drive blue tonight. I just, there's something about that blue. I'm having a blue moment tonight. This is the number one, the LBD, the little black dress of kitchen appliances. It will be your go-to. Mark my words. You're going to count down the days on that calendar until this arrives, and you're never going to take it off your counter. You're just not. You're going to use it for sweets, for savories, for pizza, for bread dough, for shredded chicken, to guacamole and meatloaf and everything in between. All of the attachments that have ever been created for KitchenAid will work with this. It's got that famous plant planetary motion. It's got that stainless design. Remember, this is all metal housing and metal gears. You, of course, get that wonderful guide. So you get this splatter guide slash uh, almost like poor uh, cover. Then, of course, you've got the dough hook, what I'm calling the little squeegee blade because <laughs> it really gets everything on the sides of the bowl. That's a $40 upgrade. And then, of course, the classic feeder attachment, free shipping, extended holiday return policy. And I don't care if you're doing, uh, if you're watching Monty on Food Network or downloading her blog, I mean, whatever you're doing, yes, you can do it with our two for today's special that's coming up at midnight at the stroke of midnight with Aaron Berger. We're going to give you all those details over 13,000 already spoken for. That's a $20 bill with free shipping and our extended holiday return policy. But in the meantime, stop by, say hi. I know Monty would love to meet and greet you. Yes. I'm just excited. Okay, what are you doing next? Look, I want to show you how easy it is oh, to attach attachments to this mixer. So this is our shredder. Ooh, this fresh is a shredder. Butter, shredder and slicer. Okay. And you'll notice this yeah. has got a square peg. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask hole. about that. It's got a little notch right there. Gotcha. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, and that's just gonna go I'm right gonna in. I'm gonna watch this really good. Because I, you know, it's so funny. I'm, I want to get this, if only because of all the attachments. You could do ice cream. With yeah, these, I have the ice right? cream. You, you, there's no going back. After you get the yeah. ice cream attachment, then you go, then you do a deep dive. Now I really want to get the sifter. It's bananas. Okay, so oh, look by at the this. Way, my producer Steve was right. The slicer shredder is gone, but the spiralizer is still available. Okay. Okay. This just clicks right in. We've got three barrel blades with it. You got a slicer. You got a fine grater and a coarse grater. I want to show you what you can do 
to this cheese, okay? It's incredible. I don't ever want to see anybody buying shredded cheese. <gasps> right. Pre-shredded cheese has wood pulp in it. You don't want that. Well, and a lot of people doing the keto thing think that they're okay with yeah. cheese, but no. you're not with the pre There's stuff, carbs right? in it. There's carbs in There's it. There's carbs. It has carbs. That wood pulp, those starches that they use to keep the shredded yeah. cheese separated. It's nuts. So from, from chocolates to cheeses and zucchini and cucumbers and everything and carrots, oh my, everything <laughs> can be done with this. Hey, Perlene, uh, Perlene is calling us in Arizona. Perlene, uh, welcome to the show. But may I ask, is it uh, Perlene or Perlene? Perlene. Perlene, welcome. Nice to have you here. It's Monty and Shannon. Hi, Perlene. Hi. I just saw you guys said you know, had a story or something. About 45 years ago, my husband bought me a KitchenAid mixer. And he bought it in a, a warehouse store. And they were just getting them in. And I got a mixer. And I got two molds. A plastic one and a stainless steel. A plastic thing that went around the mold. So you poured your dry ingredients down a little spout to go into the mold. Yes. Yeah, I got the grinder. A juicer, uh, a sausage grinder, and a stuffer. Oh my gosh, and you I, did the deep dive like I did. Well, being, being my husband paid cash for the, the mixer, the guy threw in all that other stuff. Yeah. So I would grind up uh, beef and pork, put it into the bowl, Put the other stuff in and make Italian sausage. Yes. And I put it in a stuffer and I, I had tastings that I bought from a place here to get not finished and I would make Italian sausage. That's Whoa. so, you love him so much to make him yeah. Italian. But it wasn't hard, yep. was it? It was really easy. Yep. See, you and tell I someone you're making your own sausage, you're like, it has to be hard. It's so easy. I use that mixer. My daughter used it, and now I have a grandson that uses it. Oh, Perlene, three generations. I love that story. Did Have yeah. any of you ever used it to shred chicken or shred beef and pork? No, but I used to make, no, I didn't. But I would make cooking dough. I could make three and four um, recipes at one time in the Yeah, morning. no, it's such a great bowl. It Five is. quarts fits so much. I'm gonna show you how with the paddle attachment, you can make shredded chicken, shredded pork, shredded beef in no time. You this is Perlene, only... thank you for the call, sweetheart. Thank you for sharing the good word in Arizona. Okay, show us here. This is poached chicken breast, and right. you can poach it in water, you can poach it in olive oil, or even a chicken broth if you'd like. You just lock it in yeah. and put it on two. Speed two. If you want, you can go crazy. You could. Speed four. Why not? Maybe you're having that kind of a day. Exactly. Maybe you're like, I'm over it. I'm going to put it on speed six. Either way, you're going to get shredded oh, chicken in no time. Wow. Look at that. That is perfectly shredded oh, chicken. Oh, that is a dream. Have you ever tried to shred chicken with two forks? It's oh, barbaric. It, it is barbaric. You're it right. It is. It's a nightmare. And it's so funny because then you don't get that uniformity, which mm -hmm. is what you want. Yes. Uh, I have to tell you, though, and Perlene is a great example. Thank you again for that testimonial sweetheart she everything she was describing is probably the least of what you would think of doing with your mixer right i mean normally with your mixer it's like oh pies and cakes and cookies <laughs> she's, she's doing sausage, sausage. <laughs> She's making sausage. That's so boss. So that's what's so great. This is the boss lady mixer. Yes, for sure, it right? really is. It's the boss lady mixer. Guys and gals, uh, Perlene also said that she, her daughter, and now her grandson, that's three generations with the same mixer. So while initially, I guess you could make the argument, is it an investment? Well, it's $100 off what we will sell it for, if that gives you any indication. But more importantly, it pays for itself. Uh, I don't know about you, Monty, but I look at my kitchen and we've all done the, the disposable appliances, right? Yeah. Remember the little salad shooty things, oh my gosh, yeah. right, right? The little spinning lettuce things. You know, we've all done yeah. those one hit wonders. And that's not money that's well spent. No. This is a cornerstone. Those are Tinder dates. Yes, okay? they are. You want someone that you're gonna marry? This is marriage material, it, it okay? Is. This is swipe a lifetime. Left, swipe left. Yes, this is the one that you swipe right on. You this swipe puppy. right on this one, yes. absolutely. Hey, don't forget, last live show, $100 off your purchase, free shipping, extended holiday return policy. Ooh, and before we go to the phones, just describe what you're doing here, Monty. You're whipping I'm a lot of air in that, right? I'm ring. So this, again, this wire whip hits 59 points in the bowl. You can't do that by hand. You can go from 
a soft stir to an incredible 10 speed. All right, and right now you've got meringue in no time. Oh, look, look at, at that. that. Look at the gloss on that. Isn't that fabulous? Well, Suzanne in Iowa has been a fan since the 60s. Ah! Suzanne, it's Monty and Shannon. Welcome to HSN. Well, thank you. Um, I can't tell you, well, all you have to do is look at my account to see how much money I spend on HSN. It's, it's sinful. And I've got a new KitchenAid mixer. I almost never use it. Yeah. Wow. I'm still using the one we got my mother for Christmas in 1968. Oh, wow. I love that. What color is it? It's a uh, harvest gold. Oh, nice. I love it. And, and, and Suzanne, it's, obviously it's paid for itself, but I bet you have a lot of memories in the kitchen around that KitchenAid, right? Oh, my word. Well, I did. I was, uh, did some court on blue cooking for a while. Hey, oh, wow. get it, girl. Mm -hmm. I, I got to say that my... The new mixers are much more uh, user-friendly and sure. well thought out and convenient. Yeah. The old one, you really got to sometimes struggle to get the blender, the mixer off and the blender on and the meat grinder on. And, but it has still got as much power as it did back in the 60s. Wow. And it still works just as well. It never reached my counter. I oh. use it. Constantly. Absolutely, Suzanne. What a great story! I think you're 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 really making us think. We're making memories in the kitchen tonight. Suzanne, thanks for sharing that story. Nice to have you here. And she makes an excellent point. It still has the same power. It was built to last. Her mixer is almost at my age <laughs> because I'll be 53 in wow. April. Wow! So that'll you're kind of put it in perspective. Well, thank you. I'm gonna high you know? five you. That's you know? good. I'm telling you, all done with smoke and mirrors. But <laughs> I but, but she said too. This is a whole lot easier in terms of the hub, in terms yes. of the attachment. And speaking of making life easy, what are you going to do for us right now? I'm making now? meatballs. I love making meatballs. Oh, and yes. here's my tip, okay? Don't make meatballs by hand. Oh, amen. When you do that, you have a tendency to overwork the ground beef. And right. when you do that, it becomes heavy and dense. And so your meatballs are gross. Nobody wants to eat that. Yeah. Make sure that your meatballs are light and airy. And the way that you do that is by using the KitchenAid stand mixer. All we have in here are three different types of ground beef. Um, we have breadcrumbs that were soaked in milk, so that oh. way your meatballs don't dry out. And then just some uh, spices, a little Italian parsley, okay. some eggs to help bind everything together, yeah. some onions. We're gonna lock it in, and then we're just gonna stir it together. Okay. This is the lowest speed on the KitchenAid stand mixer. And you're gonna see how it incorporates all the ingredients throughout that mixture oh, it does. very quickly. You don't wanna overwork this. No. So now you have, and you can tell that you still have. Oh, that is the, perfect. Yeah, look no, at this. you're right. Because when I make meatballs, I don't. I have overworked it. I didn't even realize what yeah, I was doing. You shouldn't do that. It denatures the protein. Oh, if does. I can throw some science your way. Why? Thank you. It denatures the protein. <laughs> it denatures the protein. <laughs> exactly. So that's why they're tough. <laughs> so in a nutshell, that's yes. why they're tough. So remember, from sweets and savories, pizza dough, meatloaf, meatballs, your own focaccias, your carrot cakes, you're making your own sauce. You're making memories is what you're doing. And it was funny because when I was prepping for the show, it just made me think. I, I think everybody has, when we think of home, I think we do think of home cooking. I think we yes. do think of, of bacon. And I, I don't know, Monty, what is it? There is, if there was ever a time where KitchenAid is seeing its moment in history, boy, all of those cake boss and cookie wars and cake, you know, baking is like the, the new it, new it's, in thing. It's the new rock show. It is the new rock show. It You're really right. It really is because people realize that one, it's something that you can absolutely do. Yes. It can be an incredibly fun challenge if you want to go crazy with it. Right. But really when you're baking for your family at home, yeah. it's not even so much about putting together something that's insanely complicated. It's about bringing them to the table. For sure. And even more important than that, 
with the KitchenAid stand mixer, it's brought my family into the kitchen with me, I it has. which I love. This is one of my favorite recipes to make with my son. What it's whipped cream um, that we make every morning on Saturday mornings yeah. for our pancake breakfast. It's oh. so delicious and easy to do. Nice. And then I'm going to show you about another one of our favorite recipes is these chocolate chip cookies. Now, how many? Uh, how, how big of a batch again? The, you can do nine dozen cookies. Oh, jeez in this five quart, okay, nine dozen. But Danger and I, my son and I, were a little nuts about our chocolate chip cookies. We like super double XL chocolate oh, chip yes. cookies. Okay, we're little cookie monsters about it. So you can do four dozen of these in this mixer, I'm gonna show oh, you nice. how. It literally takes no time at all. We've creamed some brown sugar, yeah. some granulated white sugar, and some butter. And it looks like cookie dough, but literally that's all butter and sugar. Okay. And right now we're gonna add some salt and about five cups of flour. That's Point. a huge amount of flour. You think I'm done? No, there's more. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> there's whoa, so much whoa, more wow. flour. Wow. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's crazy. I don't even know how many cups of flour that is. That's nuts. It's a ridiculous amount we're gonna have. <laughs> it's a ridiculous yeah, it's a ridiculous amount. amount. We're gonna have four yeah. there, and then I had my uh, cover. Okay. My, oh, I here it is. Okay, it's right perfect. Here. I know. Uh, I was gonna say, um, I'm standing behind you. You yeah. might want to put that little cover on. This <laughs> is why this cover is so perfect. I love it. This pour spout. I'm gonna just put that it snaps slide right in. in place. Okay. And then it's gonna keep all of my ingredients in the bowl where Smart. I want it. So we lock it in. Right. This thing is full, okay? Yeah, no kidding. That is like all the way up to the lip of the bowl. I mean, it really is. And can you imagine the, the little snowfall that would happen in your yeah. kitchen oh if gosh. you didn't have that guard on? I've had that happen. I know. <laughs> a quick little question. You know, if I, because I love monster cookies. You know how sometimes you put like the big or the little miniature Reese's cups in yes. there? Yes. Is the regular beater attachment okay for that, or would you use the dough hook? Would you switch out? Uh, go with the regular beater attachment. Okay. You know, it's really all about controlling the speed. So this is done. Okay. You control the speed. You don't go crazy with it. You're not going to put it gotcha. on 10. All right. Now, obviously, if it's her cup overfloweth, her bowl <laughs> I know. overfloweth. Look at this. This is insane. And, and, it's, love, still... and it's done. These cookies are oh, done. Oh, man. Okay, I really am going to have some of this <laughs> okay, because it's insane. amazing. It's like a little chocolate chip cookie dough. All right. You don't even know how addicted I am to oh cookie dough. Oh, my God. Okay. It's so good. That is good. I love it so much. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. wow. But here's the thing. It's $100 off our price. You will see this digital leap that this is your last live show. It is the last today's special. In fact, Monty and I were talking. We're not even sure if we'll see any other KitchenAid shows no, before the end I of the year. Yet. It's kind of doubtful just because they did this exclusively for us and our partner network, QVC, of course. We're doing our extended holiday return policy. So we've got three minutes. Let's end with a big bang. What are you going to show us? I'm going to show you how to make pizza dough. I'm literally just putting olive oil, salt, flour, and some activated yeast into this bowl. We're okay. just gonna let it go with the hook. And while that's getting kneaded together, Perfect. you know, you don't have to start from scratch. It's no. perfectly fine to go to the store and get yourself a box of brownie mix and then just kick it up a couple notches right. by subbing some of the ingredients. So this is brownie mix, eggs, Instead of the oil that it calls for, yeah. I'm just gonna add some delicious melted butter. You oh, can't go good wrong tip. with butter. Good and then tip. we're gonna add some really cute chocolates with the mints in the okay. middle, you know, the Andes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hey, quick question. Is it like a one-to-one -one ratio, like if I substitute the oil yes. for the butter? So like a one to one like if they one say a quarter cup, yes. quarter cup. Quarter cup of butter. Gotcha, and okay. And look, this is, you don't wanna overmix brownie. It's done. Oh, it's done? It's done. You can oh, pour that and you've me. got the most amazing brownies. Oh, that's awesome. And this pasta is getting started. I want to show you what we have right now. Right. Look, this is a pizza dough. And I, I just want you to feel how supple that is. Oh, that looks perfect. Oh, yeah, those fibers. That's yeah. that's that's the consistency yeah, you want it, too. Yeah, it's supple. It's delicious. It I is. mean, this is something you don't buy it at the supermarket, no, okay? You're not Make overworking it. Yourself. it. Yeah. And it's funny because I'll be honest with you. I have cheated. I bought those pre-made doughs, yeah. and and they they don't they don't feel the same, no. do they? It's almost like they're overworked before no, you yeah. even start to work Once with them. Once you have fresh pizza dough, you'll oh, never go back. You'll never go back. You really won't. I mean, you won't. And whether that's doing your own little 
little Bavarian pretzels. Yes, <laughs> October do you do 1st. That? I, I do actually. <gasps> right on. I am like a pretzel hound man. I Ooh, love I'm the impressed. pretzels. I do. And but you know what? I've I've been doing it the hard way because I don't have a KitchenAid. And maybe that's you. So maybe you reserve that. We've all done it where it's like that project in the kitchen that you reserve that whole afternoon for mm -hmm. or that whole evening because oh you're working it by hand. You're doing oh, everything. Don't do that. Don't do it. I mean it's genius. And Chris, if we can just show, I'm just gonna uh, because we've got a couple minutes remaining. The the zoodle, the spiralizer is available fewer than a thousand. We zoodled, we meringued, <laughs> right? <laughs> you can do your Boston cream pies, your baked Alaskas. We shredded chicken. And by the way, you don't have to poach your own chicken. I got a rotisserie chicken in the kit in the, the refrigerator yes. here. You can do the rotisserie chicken. We shredded cheese, we made carrot cake, you elevated our brownie mixes. Uh, focaccia, pizza dough, bread dough. Your bowl overfloweth, the biggest oh bowl <laughs> of chocolate chip cookies I've ever seen. I know. Honestly, and then homemade whipped cream, pancakes, meatballs. They took away the guacamole before I even got a chance to I eat it. I know. Monty, you have been wowing us all day long. You really yeah, I have. I love you guys. You Years guys are the doll. best here. Thank you so much for having me. I've had so much fun. You well, guys are awesome. awesome job. I gotta give you a hug. Oh, thank girl. you. Oh, all right, squeeze that little boy. I will. Yeah. I'm coming home, danger. <laughs> all right. Such a great mom. Such a great force in the kitchen. Thank you so much, thank Monty. Thank you. Awesome job. Hey, uh, something else that is awesome, of course, America's Sweetheart Tablet, and it's the one that parents swear by. It's your buy one gift one, however you want to look at it. It's our Amazon Black Friday two fur are great fires. They're coming up next. Of course, we want to hear from you. Aaron Berger's going to be here. We're going to be Facebook and live. So I hope you can come on back.